I'm Barry Thompson from Powerboat Magazine. Today we're on the Nimbus C9. This is one of the new Nimbus 9 series. There's three in the, in the range. There's this, the C9, that stands for commuter. There's the T9, which stands for tender. And there's a W9, which stands for weekender. Now, I've done a number of Nimbuses over the years. We've done quite a few videos. And I think people know I've got a bit of a soft spot for them. Coming out of Sweden, they've got a lot of innovative ideas. They're beautifully finished and they perform exceptionally well to boot. So, you know, they've got a lot going for them. Now, the C9, which they, we first saw at the Hutch Walker New Zealand Boat Show this year, it raised a bit of interest. And I say that because it's different. Yes, it's not a boat that's going to appeal to everyone. You like the style or you don't. It's got the plumb bow, it's got the vertical windscreen. And the thing is about that, it's something that's quite popular in Europe, but just starting to come into vogue down here. Power options for the boat are a single 300 horsepower Volvo Penta stern drive, which we've got in here. It's good for about 40 knots, or a single V6 outboard. Now, the boat would lend itself to a 350, I don't know if it may be 425 or 450 even if you really want a boogie. The difference between the outboard and the stern drive is what you get in your cockpit space. And the cockpit with the stern drive is much more open, more fishing platform on the back. And what Sports Marine have done is added a couple of stainless steel staples so you can put your barbecue on there, your bait board, so much more fishing orientated for Kiwis. Put the outboard in the middle, you've still got plenty of fishing space. Underneath we've got steps, so when you're on the calm water, the boat goes along and it just gets a little bit of air under those steps, suddenly pops and runs along beautifully on top of the water. Now like this, this is this big flat area, you can just imagine one of those nice South Island style drop down ladders that they use down the Marlborough Sounds and in the deep water where you come in, bow up to the sand, down there goes a ladder and you step off. Well, I won't do that because I haven't got a ladder. It's up the bow, got a nice sun pad, lift this up and it's access to the forward cabin but it also with a stay on there allows a nice bit of ventilation if you're lying in there at night, gives you some fresh air. Deep anchor locker so with an internal anchoring system so you've got nothing on the deck. Well this is a commuter boat to me it's also a weekender. It's a boat that you're going to stay away overnight. Double berth here with storage underneath, plenty of room for two people, good storage space around the, the whole cabin, nice and light and airy. To say open this up and you've got good light and ventilation coming in. A fully enclosed head so you've got that privacy. So you know a lot of space in here for a uh, what is effectively a big trailer boat. It's a great driving position, the throttle's nicely at hand, and the visibility is fantastic. I love this big flat screen with very small mullions. Look at that, gets up on the plane. Just feel it now, I just jumped over that step. So you've got that ventilated air, air going under. We're just sitting on 28, 29 knots very, very quickly. So we're just uh, Go back a little bit. The boat comes standard with either a 19 screen or a couple of 12s, these garments, a little bit of option on the electronics, but everything's nice and handy. Seating, stand up to drive, good headroom. Bolt here, sit it back like this. The seat's got four and a half movement, plus the seat swivel around. So you can face them aft if you, when you're not using them and you want to have a bit of a social area in the back of the boat. But how's that? That's beautiful. With the seat swiveled around and the table folded out, there's actually dining here for five people. I didn't mention it before, but there's an optional kitchenette which you can put into the cabin if you don't want to use the barbecue outside. And this area here also folds down, the sofa folds down and forms an extra bed for say two kids or one adult. In place of the glass roof, which comes standard, the boat can be equipped with an electronically opening canvas canopy, which is ideal for those wishing to optimise the open air feeling on a warm summer's day. So the cockpit with the stern drive in, you get the sun pad here. And uh, to make it a real fishing aspect, as I said before, Sports Marine have added the staples with the bait board and you can put a barbecue on this side. 
the storage either side, teak decks, and overhead if you've got a rocket launcher. Nimbus have a boat building legacy that stretches back over 50 years, and this 9 series celebrates that. The C9, to me, is a very versatile, practical, uh, very modern boat, very modern in its styling, and it's going to appeal to a lot of Kiwis. It's, um, it's got a lot of space, it's, it's light, it's airy. Here we are on a nice summer's day, in, oh, sorry, a winter's day in Auckland, but it feels like summer. And we're inside, it's great. Got good headroom, it's got everything you'd want in a, in a day boat and in a weekender. Uh, I think Kiwis have fallen in love with it. I know I have.